Hi guys, I'm Andy from Cruise Master and today on Cruise Master class we're going to be talking about the importance of tightening bolts and how bolted joints work. One of the more common issues we see through the warranty process here at Cruise Master is parts coming loose due to incorrectly tightened bolts holding these parts on. And worst case, this can ruin the holiday. So let's have a look at how a bolted joint works. It's a common misconception that the bolt itself resists the force in a bolted joint. This isn't actually correct. And what happens when you tighten the nut and the bolt together is the bolt elastically stretches. And as it stretches, it's a bit like a spring and it puts force on the joint. So if you imagine we have two bits of plate together with a bolt through it, as you tighten it up, it applies a force between the two plates. And because you have friction between these two plates, you have, a, you have a force which reacts what is being applied to it. So if a bolt is not correctly tightened, you don't generate enough friction between the two plates and things start to move. When things start to move, the force does end up on the bolt and bolts are not designed to have that force directly applied to them and they end up fatiguing and breaking. Now when engineers are designing components for your trailer or vehicle, they're looking at how that force generated by the bolt resist the force on it from external factors. So when they're designing, they know what force they need and they choose the fastener to account for that. And the only way you can guarantee that that force is generated correctly is by using a correctly calibrated torque wrench. A lot of people can get it by feel and that's can be, that can be close enough in some applications, but you can't guarantee it is accurate. So the only real way to do it is with a torque wrench. All Cruise Master products are supplied with a spec sheet which defines all of the torques required to do up our fasteners in our suspension and couplings and other products. And those numbers you dial into your torque wrench and on first installation, that's what they should be torqued up to. At subsequent services, critical bolts would also be checked to make sure they're maintaining their torque and nothing has moved. I also think if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're beating the product up, you're hitting all those corrugations, out having a great holiday, it's good to check them every now and again and make sure everything's still good. The next thing I want to talk about is nylock nuts. Now, in a bolted joint, particularly on a vehicle, you get fluctuations in forces that go through the joints. Now that fluctuation can loosen the joint and that's why it's important to have the correct torque because that generates enough force to resist all those vibrations. Now it's a misconception that the nylock nut is what keeps the joint tight and that's not actually correct. The nylock nut is there, and in the worst case something does become loose, the nut doesn't fall off the end of the bolt, then the bolt falls out of the joint. So thread locker, like Loctite, works in a similar fashion as a nylock nut. So the, again, the bolted joint relies on that pretension to hold itself together, but the thread locker bonds the nut and the bolt together so the nut can't come off. Again, in a similar vein, a spring washer that many people would be familiar with works in a similar way. If the bolt does loosen a bit, then the two ends of the spring washer dig into the plate and they dig into the head of the nut and try to resist the nut unscrewing off the bolt. Over the years, we've dealt with a lot of bolted joints, as you can imagine here at Cruise Master. And one of the main things we've found recently is the benefit of flange head nuts and bolts. So these work by spreading the pressure generated by the clamp force over a larger area on these uh, flange head nuts and bolts, which prevents the heads embedding themselves into the plates that they're clamping together. When things embed together, you end up losing a bit of pretension in the bolt, and that doesn't give you your maximum clamp force. So as we move through our products, we're finding we're changing these over and we're having really good results in improving our products with flange heads. So today I've covered off the basics of how bolted joints work. But if you're interested in getting even more in depth, John Cadogan over on YouTube does a really good job of explaining this in even more depth. So if you've got a bit of time, a bit of engineering background, and you really want to understand it, check out his videos. They're really good. So we've always got new videos coming out for Cruise Masterclass, so make sure you keep an eye out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube so you don't miss out.